This is day three of wiffle ball training. And today we are working on the super curve because you guys suggested that, okay? Yeah. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now, first thing we're gonna start off, same thing as always, you get that arm loose, a couple of regular throws like this. Once we have finished that, we need to move on and I'll explain the concept of that super curve. So instead of being like the slider in the sense of we're working with the wind tension and that, and sort of that, we are now working on the spin, that curve. I touch on a little bit with the slider. The slider is telling them play around with that curving as the curvature will give it more shape, but at the same time, it loses the air going into it, right? It loses that concept a little bit. Now, with the super curve, you can grab it like this and turn it, but that's like not ideal. I like to get it like this. So if it's flat like this, it's like that. This hand pushes into this little crevice in here. You see that? In that crevice. I hold it like this. All right, and now we're just gonna take it, kind of get on this angle. So it's like you're not rolling, but you're kind of here. Right, and you just kind of do it from the side. So it's like a mix of like that curvature shape and just, just has that kind of arc to it, right? You see that arc a lot in, and these kind of pitches rather than the, the slide, right? The slider kind of moves like this. It just slides across the zone. This one is more of a, it's more of like a rainbow, right? So here, go here. It's like that. Now I will say, with this pitch, you do have to try and start it farther to your right. We'll move over so I have some room. I'm just gonna try and start it over here on this wall. And if it if it stays like the other ones, it actually curves. But if it stays and curves, it curves right into the zone. So let's practice that like two sets of ten. Over like that one, bang, center in the middle of the zone. That's all you gotta do. And that's how you figure it out. Now, just messing around with this, trying to incorporate that in your lineup and. Pitch sequencing is what you can use it for. Example here, right? That's a strike, corner of the zone, right? Probably not gonna, he may swing at it, he may hit it foul, something. Doubt he's gonna hit that foul, it's kind of corner of the zone. The next pitch, say you're like, I wanna throw this super curve, right? Throw that super curve, you make it dive off the plate, he's swinging and missing at that, right? Then last pitch, you can go to a slider, or the super drop, which is coming next video, as your put away pitch, and then after that, he fouls that off, and you just throw him another riser. Just all that's pitch sequencing, right? So throwing different kind of pitches. So say I just do that, that riser for a strike, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna throw the super curve, right? The fingers like that. Well, curves across the zone, he swings at that off the plate. If it's a right, he's 100% he's swinging at that. So now we got this righty down 0-2. Now we're going to sit here and we're going to go 0 2, make him chase with a drop ball or something, which I will teach you soon. So you make him chase with a drop ball. We actually land that in the zone. Strike three, he's not touching it. That's, a, that's one batter for you, and I just went through it and struck him out. Right? So just the pitch sequencing of that, just thinking about that, incorporating that into your throwing workouts with with a ball and just practicing that and training. Now, stay tuned. Next video coming up is going to be how hard can I throw this with a ball, right? See you soon. Like and sub.